Let me ask, um, are you Abdi Kadir from Kenya for the next question? Is I Boya Ayubi? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. One question, and this is on Haiti. Uh, President Biden, Kenya is rather li doing the heavy lifting in a turbulent region, Somalia, South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Washington, as you have mentioned, has committed millions of dollars for the cost in Haiti. Isn't it ironic that while America is ending its forever wars in Afghanistan, the latest in 2021, under your leadership, when you withdrew troops from Kabul, and that you're committing Kenya to another foreign wars 12,000 kilometers away from Nairobi. I mean, why the discrepancy, why the dichotomy? While you are on ending your forever wars, overseas wars, yet you are committing Kenya to Haiti. Can you explain that? Very easily. There's a reason why Afghanistan has been known as the graveyard of empires. The likelihood of anybody uniting Afghanistan is highly, highly, highly unlikely, number one. Number two, there are ways to control ISIS other than occupying Afghanistan. It was an unnecessary need. Now, with regard to Haiti, Haiti is in an area of the Caribbean that is very volatile. There's a lot going on in this hemisphere, and we're in a situation where we want to do all we can without us looking like America once again is stepping over and deciding this is what must be done. Haitians are looking for help as well as the folks in the Caribbean are looking for help. And so we, we checked out with a number of other countries. The one who stepped up was Haiti. We committed to provide the war with all the intelligence and equipment and the like to Haiti. And so it's a logical thing. And you have a first-rate ca capability, and you keep your word. That's an important dynamic. I agree with President Biden that Kenya's participation in Haiti is not so much about what happened in the past. It's about what we believe in, the peace and security of humanity. And we don't find that the U.S. is committing Kenya because the U.S. cannot commit Kenya. I am the president of Kenya. It's me to make that decision. And it's the people of Kenya to commit their own troops using their own structures. We've gone through the processes in Kenya. Parliament has approved. We have a clear mandate. We have a clear framework. And it is us, the people of Kenya, who made this decision in the interest of serving peace and stability as a responsible global citizen and understanding that insecurity, instability anywhere, is insecurity and instability everywhere. And by the way, you asked about, you implied that we weren't doing anything anywhere else. Well, we, we're, we're kind of occupied around the world, but we're also engaged in Congo, in the neighborhood. And, uh, you know, we can continue to help alleviate human suffering there. The United States is the largest humanitarian donor, providing $375 million in humanitarian funding just this year including support for more than 6 million displaced people from the DRC. So we are engaged in more than one place. Follow up to my president, Dr. Ruto. Um, you said that uh, Kenya is committed, and uh, in your uh, Carter speech in Atlanta, you said it's based on humanitarianism, helping Haiti out. But can you explain the geopolitical goal, 12,000 kilometers away from Nairobi, when schools in the counties of Baringo, West Pokot, and Turkana have not yet opened because of the banditry problem, yet you are committing our national police force to Haiti, and where is the priority? This, this being one of your major manifesto pillars, talking about security, and to the extent that even the Defense Cabinet Secretary talked about the deployment of, if need be, the Kenyan military or the special personnel to make sure that schools are open, children go to school in areas that are bandit prone in Kenya. Why are you committing to Haiti when we have a problem back home? Is it an irony that you are putting the fire in the faraway neighbor's home when, you are, we are, when our own home is on fire? Thank you very much. I made a commitment to the people of Kenya to sort out insecurity in the North Rift. I have followed that with action. As we talk, there are 3,000 military officers in the North Rift, 
2,000 police officers in the road trip, we have renovated the first 15 schools and completed. We have reopened 20 schools already that were closed in the North Rift. And that exercise is ongoing. We have made tremendous progress in making sure that we create security at home. But that does not take away our responsibility. Even as we were deploying troops and policemen in our own country in North Rift to sort out the banditry problem, we still deployed a thousand, trip, uh, a thousand troop, uh, troops to DRC Congo because that is our neighborhood. We have 5,000 troops in Somalia because equally that is our responsibility. And Haiti should not be an exception. That's why deploying a thousand security men to Haiti speaks to the same belief and commitment to peace and security.